Hey guys, Travis here with GameSpot Esports at the LCS NA Qualifiers on day two, and I'm actually joined by Link, who is the new sub for CLG. Uh, so, Link, just before this, you were talking to your manager to figure out what you could talk about on camera in this interview. What did he say you could talk about? Um, well, it's kind of vague. I, I can't really answer, I think. Okay. You have to ask the questions. All right, that's no, fine. I'll tell you what I can say. All right. Can you give me any hints? No. Okay. We'll see what we'll see what I can get. All right. So there's some screaming going on right now from from Team Marn getting ready to prepare. Uh, have there been any surprises or upsets here? I think you said that you thought Cloud Nine was going to go through, right? Yes, I thought Cloud Nine was going to 100% go through, but um, I don't know. They kind of derped and they lost and they got upset. What do you think happened? Um, I don't know what really happened. They kind of played not like their normal normal selves when we scrimmed them. At least, I mean, they're good. And I feel like they should have earned that top eight, but um, something happened, something went wrong, and then they lost. Hey, uh, right now it looks like GGU is about to win this game and become the second team to go into the, uh, the, f the season out of the five that are here, uh, Fear being the first one. If you had to guess at the other three, what would they be? Curse, Brunch, Club, and Marn, I think. Well, the, they, uh, Brunch Club and Marn, oh, that would mean, yeah, no mean playground. So that, yeah, that would work out. So those are, any, any particular reason why you think those three guys, or do you just think they're the best? Uh, I just think they're the best. That's what I feel. That's it. All right, so you're here with CLG. So are you guys kind of like scoping stuff out, or are you here just uh, for fun, or why did you guys decide to come down? Uh, it's a mixture of both. We just kind of want to like see what our competition will be like in the future, maybe. Uh, meet some friends, people. Uh, have fun, pretty much. So you're now in the CLG house. You moved in, what, just a, a week ago or so? Yes. So what's it like living with CLG now that you've been there for like a week? Any, any surprises? Anybody like a little weirder than you expected? Uh, I'm not really surprised. Um, I'm naturally just a chill and accepting guy, I guess. So I mean, whatever happens, like the yelling and the arguing, I'm just like whatever with it. Like I kind of expected it to happen from the past, you know. But I mean, they're a team. They're nice. They're fun. And they're good. And it's going to be a good experience. So you, you came in as a sub, uh, but obviously there's a lot of different things that you can do on the team. Uh, do you know yet how much you're going to be playing in the games, or are they really just going to keep you sort of on the bench unless somebody could make it? Uh, my aspiration is to become a starter, so we'll see what happens. And you think right now that there's a chance that that might happen in the future? Um, I don't know. Uh, looking forward, um, you know, at, at the different teams that are in already, the teams that are you think aren't going to come in, and, and uh, you know, like you guys sort of going up against Dig and against TSM, where do you guys think you'll stand once the season starts, given you know, like your current practice schedule and what you know of the teams right now? I think CLG will be the top NA team. There we go. There we go. Any any particular reason why? Um, just because we're better. Okay. Pretty much it. So Avermu hasn't moved in yet, right? Uh, yes, I believe he's moving in tomorrow or the next day after. I don't know. Not sure. You looking forward to it? Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. So I know that uh, there's a lot of questions about whether or not you were going to be able to make it onto a team or become a sub or whatever. You had said in the past that you had uh, education that was a pretty big priority for you. So where are you at right now? I mean, you're living in the house. Are you going to be taking classes or anything? Or do you, do you have anything uh, figured out yet? Uh, I'm going to be taking a break from education for now. Uh, it just wasn't my thing, and I kind of want to take a break, so, yeah. So then you'll be able to dedicate all this time and, and become the best sub and potentially even the starter, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, just overall, like, I know that you were a mid player previously. Uh, you tend to be a mid player. Um, are, do you, but you're, you're pretty versatile, right? So do you think that, like, if you remain a sub, you could fill in any different position, or how do you think that that would work out? I think I'd be able to play any position as a sub because uh, I've learned almost every lane before, and I continue to practice every lane. So a lot of people I've read online, have, have you ever heard of them calling you the son of Choster? Uh, yes. So what do you think of that? Is it, is it make sense that Choster teach you a lot of what you know? Yes, there was a lot of stuff about Choster. Um, when I was solo queuing and getting up or raising my ELO um, and getting better as a player, I, I should say, um, the main people that I looked up to were in CLG. So there was Hotshot about learning top and tanks. There was Choster about learning mid and AD carry and support. Uh, all the, all the matchups in general, 
I kind of learned from watching Chaucer play and playing with him. Um, there's also Scara and Hotshot that I owe a lot to. Really cool. So you are considered sometimes a prophet with the, a lot of the, the tweets that you're able to put out and during the games and all that kind of thing. Uh, so you obviously have a pretty good idea of like theory crafting and strategy and all that. Uh, do you think that you'll be able to sort of apply that to CLG, where, you know, no matter where you end up on the team, whether it be sub or starter, uh, do you think that you'll be able to sort of help even maybe kind of like coach the team? Uh, yes, I intend to do whatever I can, and uh, I, just want to, I just want the team to win. That's real shit. Really good. Well, hey, do you have any uh, shout-outs that you'd like to make to fans or whoever? Uh, yes, uh, shout-outs to Razor, Own3D, XMG, Elobuff, and GG Well Played. And uh, shout-outs to friends, family. Well, hey, thanks a ton for the interview. Looking forward to see uh, your, your performance in Season 3, whatever it may end up being. And uh, thanks a ton for the interview. For everyone, this is Travis with GameSpot Esports covering the LCS and A qualifiers. You can check out the rest of our coverage of this event at GameSpot.com slash esports.